Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Get ready for an experience that will leave your heart racing in ways you never thought possible, and your hands clenching your seat like they never have your entire life. Ready? Let's jump right into it. Right off the bat, we start with something bizarre and scary. What do you see when you look at this capture? Before you conclude it's just a dirty monkey or a chimpanzee covered in mud, take a look at its fingers. Do those look normal to you? Certainly not. Moving away from its fingers and taking a look at its face, you can tell that the eyes are much more sunken than they should be, and its nostrils have holes bigger and definitely deeper than ordinary primates that size. Just what could we be dealing with here? Well, no one knows, not even the one whose trail camera captured this. According to him, there are no primates in the area, and a local legend speaks of a small but wicked ape-like creature that roams the woods seeking to exact revenge on all who hurt the wildlife in the area. He mentions that even as a child, he's always thought the story to be ridiculous and unreal. At least he thought so until his trail camera captured this. What do you think of the whole thing? Do you believe his story, or do you think there's something more sinister happening here? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. We'd love to know. If you thought that was weird, take a look at this next footage. See anything unusual in the footage? No? Well, let's give it another look. If you're having trouble spotting anything unusual, focus on the top left of the footage. Notice those strange, unsettling movements in the top left. Do they seem natural to you? Well, the uploader is convinced these movements are far from ordinary. He saw movements resembling a face and speculated that an otherworldly creature might be stalking the deer, possibly with a sinister intent. Unsure, he posted it online, seeking the opinions of other trail cam owners and, of course, the members of the paranormal community responded. To them, whatever that is, it's anything but normal. Their suspicion? A dogman, lurking in the shadows, eyeing the deer as its next meal. Take a third look at the footage. You can't fault them for thinking that. After all, does it not look like there's a real predator lurking in the shadows? The video was tagged as a modern dogman sighting, and this naturally caused it to blow up. On the flip side, some trail cam experts dismissed the dogman theory as unnecessary. To them, the creature was nothing more than a squirrel moving in the tree. After closely examining the footage, I can understand their perspective, but what's your take? Do you also see the dogman, or is it simply a case of mistaken identity? Have you ever taken a walk down a dark path and instantly regretted it? Well, I know I have, but I doubt it in any way compares to the next footage I'm about to show you. What do you think that creature is? Well, if you are clueless, then you aren't the only one. At first glance, it might seem like a mountain lion, but after a few seconds, you'll notice it's longer than any mountain lion should be. It almost looks like a human being moving on all fours, albeit without any human-like features. Many who saw the footage believed it was a skinwalker, and the uploader seems to think so too. He mentions that there are many legends of skinwalkers in the area, but it was not until he encountered what you were seeing on your screen that he started to believe that the legends might be true. That's his personal assertion, though. What do you see when you look at the footage? Do you see a skinwalker too, or are we simply blowing things out of proportion? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, as we'd love to hear them. Still on the odd-looking and bizarre, what do you reckon this is? At first glance, one might think it's a bear. But once the footage is zoomed in, you realize that while it might have a body reminiscent of a bear, that creature is no bear. It appears to have what looks like horns on its head. 
Beyond that, it also appears to be moving on all twos like a humanoid would, albeit with a slight bend. Seeing this image in our mailbox was a real thrill, even though it might be a bit spooky in person. Is this a new type of cryptid? Is it some variation of the Bigfoot? Or is this a new bear hybrid? It's hard to say, but we can't wait for the subscriber who sent this in to revisit the location and send in more pictures. Until then, what do you think we're dealing with? Have you ever seen a creature like this? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section. We'd love to hear them. Next, we have this image that was captured by an unknown man. Looks like your everyday picture, does it not? But wait till you hear the story behind it. The image on your screen reveals a young girl looking back at the camera or an individual filming from behind a tree. If you thought that this was a girl playing hide-and-seek, well, we can't fault you, but turns out the story is actually something much, much darker. The individual who took the image believes we're actually seeing a ghost and not a real person. He believes that the girl in the image died in that particular forest years ago and has since not left the area because her spirit has no peace. He was creeped out by the capture and shared it. Do you want to know what my thoughts are? If this is indeed true, how many more ghosts lurk in the neighborhoods? How many spirits have we met or entertained without really knowing what they were? Some speculations surrounding this image suggest it may have been taken a long time ago and that the girl might have actually been alive when it was taken. While that sounds a bit reassuring, if we're gonna go by what the uploader said, then the narrative is false. While that sounds a bit reassuring, if we are going to go by what the uploader said, then the narrative is false. It's always intriguing to come across such images, but they always come with their mysterious aura and interesting twists. What do you think about the whole thing? Tell us in the comments section. What do you think that being is? Before you move any further, pause the video and write what you think it is in the comments section so we can confirm after. Moving on, what do you think it was? What did you write? Yes, the capture looks like the image of some wraith taken very late at night, but what if I told you it's none of these things? What if I told you there was actually a logical explanation for what you see? Well, there actually is. The figure captured in the video is nothing more than a man in a ghillie suit. For many of you, this might be a new term, but it's actually commonly used by the military to blend in with natural surroundings and vegetation during missions. This is the explanation for its bizarre look. At first glance, one might think this certainly has to be a humanoid creature that emerged from the deepest parts of the sea, but thankfully, it's not. How was it captured on a trail cam then? Well, the trail cam that captured this might probably be located in a military zone used for training. Imagine not knowing about this and waking up to a dozen of these on your trail camera. You might think aliens are taking over the world or something which is exactly what the owner of this trail cam footage thought. Thankfully though, it looks like we are free at least for the next few decades until we truly encounter some alien species. That's if they exist. Have you ever heard of someone coming across a white Bigfoot? If you answered no, then it's clearly because you haven't seen our next clip. In this clip, an explorer named Carpenter was on a quest in the woods and, as is normal for all explorers, he documented his journey. At some point in his exploration, he felt he was being watched. The creature that was stalking him was definitely trying to hide from him. Being the cunning explorer he is, he finds a way to film and capture it. What he saw was a large, white-haired creature skillfully hiding among the trees. Taking multiple looks at the creature, he concluded that the creature was none other than Bigfoot. Are there white Bigfoots, though. Not as far as we know. We only know of the snow cousin of the Bigfoot, which is the Yeti, but this doesn't look like it was captured on a snow-covered mountain. Without more conclusive evidence, it's challenging to definitely identify the creature in the video. Some people might interpret it as Bigfoot, while others may offer alternative explanations or consider it inconclusive. What's your conclusion?
If you thought things couldn't get any creepier, oh boy, are you wrong. Imagine walking into the woods and coming across this. In this footage, we stumble upon a truly bizarre find in broad daylight, an enigmatic miniature figure carved from wood or possibly a dried-up creature. Its features are like anything we've ever seen before. Four small breasts, a round head, hat-like ears, extra toes, and curled fingers. Based on its rigid and unmoving appearance, it's highly likely that this is a statue or a piece of art deliberately placed in the woods. The figure's purpose and origin remain shrouded in mystery, leaving us with a plethora of intriguing questions. Naturally, the explorer who came across it wanted to investigate some more, but the eerie presence and nature of the figure discouraged him. This caused him to leave the area with more questions than answers. We're relieved he prioritized his safety, but the mystery of what this figure is and why it's in the woods still intrigues us. Do you have an idea? Do you have answers? Please share in the comments section as we'd really love to crack this enigma. Thank you in advance. This trail cam footage indeed presents a puzzling scenario with several elements at play. Initially, it appears to capture a group of deer feasting on their night ration with glowing eyes, a phenomenon often attributed to the reflection of light from the camera. However, the intriguing aspect of this footage lies in a distant source of illumination that appears much later. The distant light source does indeed resemble a human head, and it's wrapped in what seems like a transparent covering. The most common assumption for such an occurrence might be that it's an unidentified flying object or an apparition of some kind. To arrive at a more conclusive understanding of this enigmatic footage, further analysis and investigation are necessary. Without additional context or information, it remains a mysterious occurrence open to interpretation and speculation. The uploader believes it's alien, and I'm tempted to side with him. What say you, alien or something entirely different? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. Late one night on a quiet, secluded farm, a farmer was stirred from his sleep by a commotion among his animals. Worried about their well-being, he quickly made his way to the source of the disturbance. Under the soft glow of the moon, he was met with an odd and unexpected sight. There, in the midst of his farm, stood a peculiar creature. It bore a resemblance to an emaciated baboon, its fur unkempt and tangled. The creature seemed agitated, hopping about in a manner that suggested it was disorientated or frightened. This was no ordinary encounter, and the farmer couldn't help but wonder about the identity of this mysterious being. Was it a lost animal, or perhaps something more enigmatic, a denizen of the night that rarely ventured in a human territory? Unsure what the answer might be, he posted it online to gather the opinions, thoughts, and feelings from the online community. Some thought it was only a baboon, others an otherworldly creature. When it comes to my team and me, the responses are mixed as well. We need a tiebreaker. What do you guys think it is? Tell us in the comments section. In the annals of mysterious and unexplained phenomena, the appearance of strange beings, especially those reminiscent of aliens, tends to capture our imagination. The year 2019 brought forth a curious piece of footage from the heart of Brazil that has left many intrigued. In the video, we see a peculiar, pale and black-eyed creature. Its appearance is undeniably otherworldly and it appears to be engaging with the trail cam curiously. As with many such sightings, there's room for skepticism with some suggesting it might be a well-executed hoax, possibly involving a person in an elaborate costume or skillful CGI. However, considering the vastness of the universe and our limited understanding of it, one can't help but wonder if there might be a fraction of truth to such sightings. What do you think? If you've made it this far and haven't hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, could you do that before we go on? Thank you very much, as it means a lot. Moving back to today's episode. 
In the world of mysterious sightings, this one truly stands out as a head-scratcher. Out in the woods, a creature with an otherworldly appearance was spotted, leaving observers both baffled and intrigued. The creature's features are a bewildering blend of the familiar and the bizarre. It possesses piercing eyes with dark pupils reminiscent of a predator, while its body takes on the form of a lizard. However, the head is where things take an eerie turn, resembling that of a hairless human with its distinct eyes and nose. To further confound, it sports three fingers on each hand, each adorned with sharp, menacing claws. Perhaps most intriguingly, this enigmatic being exhibits a spine covered in what appears to be scale-like structures that continue down its tail. The overall effect is that of a science experiment gone wrong, but there's also the possibility that it's an elaborate hoax. What do you think? Wandering through the woods can often lead to an assortment of unexpected experiences, some more unnerving than others. Such was the case for a woman who found herself in a spine-tingling situation deep within the forest. A woman was walking through the woods when she started to hear strange noises coming from a hollow space surrounded by trees. Typically, that should be a sign to get the hell out of there, but this woman was feeling pretty brave that day, so she took out her camera to film. Within a few seconds of filming, her lens landed on a strange dark figure perched by a tree trunk in the darkness. She stood to look at it for a while. That only lasted until the creature moved slightly, which was enough to scare and get her running away from it. In my opinion, I think it was the best choice because although that thing was not visible, it gave me this chilling feeling of being hunted. But you have to wonder, what exactly is that thing? It didn't exactly have a discernible face. Do you think this is another science experiment gone wrong, or are there creatures like this in the wild we have yet to discover? Share your thoughts with us as we'd love to hear them. Dragons, werewolves, and witches are all characters we see in fairy tales, but these days, with these sightings in our forests and mountains, these creatures seem to be coming more and more of a reality than they are a fiction. A hiker was exploring the woods when he came across this beautiful white horse. But wait, it's not just a horse, it's a unicorn. Yeah, you heard me right, the beautiful horse was spotting a horn on its head. Looks like in the years to come, there will be no such thing as fairy tales anymore. Birds are very jumpy animals and the slightest movement could get them flying away. So tell me why this little birdie hopped on this rider's bicycle in the woods. It was almost as if this trippy avian had some kind of message. Maybe it thought our cyclist had overstayed their welcome, like the woodland guardian saying, Hey buddy, the forest isn't your personal hangout spot. Or perhaps this was Mother Nature's reminder that we humans are just visitors in her grand domain. Who knows what went on in the mind of that little bird? Maybe it fancied the bicycle as the latest in avian-approved purchase. This intriguing footage captured in the woods offers a rather bizarre but unique sight. Amidst the natural surroundings, we see a figure that appears to be clinging to a tree with its entire body resembling the texture of tree bark. It looks as though it had been in a perpetual tug of war with the tree for an extended period. Naturally, the one who filmed it thought it was an interesting shot and shared it online to hear people's thoughts and ideas of what it could be. Some argued that it was not a living being, but rather a carving or sculpture designed to closely resemble a human figure. Some wanted to believe it was alien. 
Some also subscribe to the idea that it's digitally manipulated. If you ask me what I thought about the whole thing, I'd say the hypothesis of it being a carving might not be too far off. It's possible that this carving holds significance in local folklore or legends, but without more context, its story remains a mystery. What do you think, though? Speaking of mysterious captures, if you have footage and clips you want to show on this channel, don't hesitate to send them in. If you're unsure of what you captured, don't worry, I'm sure the thousands of subscribers who watch the videos could help you make sense of it. Simply send it in to classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. Moving on. During a stroll in the woods, an unsuspecting farmer came across a natural but somewhat gruesome scene. What lay before him was the shriveled remains of a bear, which had become a feast for countless worms and insects. This sighting serves as a stark reminder of the cycle of life and nature's way of recycling organic matter. While such a sight would undoubtedly evoke strong reactions from many, the farmer displayed a remarkable level of courage by not only witnessing it, but also filming the scene. It raises the question of how one would react in the face of such a natural but unsettling spectacle. Feel free to share your thoughts on how you would have handled encountering such a sight in the comment section. We'd love to know. What do you think this is? If you said dragon, I wouldn't blame you because that's exactly what came to mind when I saw these remains. The discovered remains exhibit a strikingly large number of bones resembling the skeletal structure of an enormous sea snake or serpent-like creature. I mean, how many creatures do you know that look like that? If it was an isolated incident, well, we could call it a hoax. But in recent discovery in the Yucatan Peninsula, explorers have reported the unearthing of peculiar remains that some believe may be linked to ancient sea creatures often mythologized as dragons. These remarkable findings have led to various speculations within the scientific community and the general public. The Yakutan Peninsula, known for its diverse geological formations, has previously yielded fossils dating back to the Ice Age. Could these be the necessary proof that dragons existed in the region back then? I mean, we have got the fossils and then we have got the Chinese lore on these creatures. There's no way it's just a mere coincidence now, is it? Share your thoughts. This deer camera footage captures a tranquil scene in the woods during the night. The scattered trees and the central tree with a unique marking create an eerie and mysterious atmosphere. As the camera zooms in, we can see a prominent celestial object in the sky which could easily be mistaken for the moon. However, upon closer inspection, it appears to be more like an orb or another identified object. The nature of this object raises questions and curiosity. On this channel, we've long associated orbs with supernatural activity, but some have pointed out that this could be of alien origin. Others argue it could be an unknown celestial object or orb that somehow materialized in our plane. Either of these is possible, and either of these would be a great reality. What do you personally think we're dealing with here? Tell us in the comments section. We'd love to hear it. Dinosaurs are extinct, right? I mean, it's a basic fact and everyone knows it. Our next clip, however, challenges that hypothesis. Watch. In the dead of night, the video reveals a tree and a source of light, but what steals the show is the sudden appearance of a figure that moves in a way reminiscent of an extinct dinosaur. The creature seems to have its head held high and its tail wagging much like a dinosaur's motion. However, dinosaurs are widely believed to be extinct for millions of years. Some experts think the figure in the video could be something else entirely, possibly a small dog. They think the quality of the footage makes it appear the way it does, something along the lines of an optical illusion. 
The footage was captured by Christina Ryan's security camera, and she refuses to believe it's not a dinosaur. She's very convinced that the creature is a raptor. What do you think, though? Share your thoughts and speculations in the comments section. What would you do if you ran into a ginormous creature? What would you do? If you said run for dear life, I'd consider it a normal response, but the man in the next footage did the opposite. Watch. In this clip, the recorder is strategically positioned to capture an intriguing sight within the vast forested area. Tall, lush green trees dominate the landscape, creating a serene yet mysterious backdrop. While the video maintains a sense of quietude, it's apparent that the recorder is dedicated to documenting the unfolding scene. As the video unfolds, a figure comes into view from a few strides away. This figure is of considerable height, estimated to be between 10 and 12 feet tall. Its appearance is notably dark and covered in hair, bearing a striking resemblance to the legendary creature known as Bigfoot. The figure moves purposefully down the trail with an expressionless demeanor seemingly unfazed by any events or surroundings. This enigmatic sighting raises intriguing questions. Is this indeed a genuine encounter with Bigfoot, a creature steeped in folklore and myth? Or could it possibly be a well-executed costume or mascot designed to mimic the iconic creatures? In this intriguing video, a courageous man finds himself in an undisclosed location standing amidst a vast landscape with an abundance of lush green plants. However, the particular area where he's standing appears to be barren, with only a green sack in his hand. What makes this scene all the more remarkable is the action that unfolds next. The man upends the sack, causing a collection of snakes to spill out on the ground. Without hesitation, he discards the sack, crouches down, and proceeds to handle the snakes with his bare hands. As he does so, the snakes quickly disperse in various directions. The exact location of this video and the specific species of snakes involved remain undisclosed, leaving viewers with a sense of mystery. The man's audacious act of handling these snakes barehanded is indeed an alarming sight to behold and it raises numerous questions. What motivated him to undertake this endeavor and what message or symbolism might be associated with this unusual act? Was he aided by some voodoo or is it purely skill? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. What was that? Oh, wow. Oh, we're definitely getting closer. Like, really close. In this intriguing nighttime footage, it appears to have been captured by a group of friends venturing into the wilderness. The recorder's commentary suggests a casual and carefree attitude. However, as the video unfolds, it takes on an eerie and unsettling tone. Oh my God. That's dead. I thought it was another one of those skull things. I think we should try to, like, find its, like, base camp. The initial discovery of bloodstains on the ground prompts a reaction from the recorder, signaling the group's growing unease. As they continue their journey, their path leads them to an enigmatic site obscured by a cluster of leaf-like structures, which further heightens the suspense. What is that? Is that, is that a brain? Stop, 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 stop. <coughs> A pivotal moment occurs when they pause, and the camera captures vertical sources of light seemingly levitating nearby. Let's look at this. This development elicits fear and astonishment from the explorers, causing them to express their horror of what they are witnessing. In their haste to escape, the camera inadvertently captures what appears to be a skeletal figure holding a source of illumination. The authenticity of this footage remains a subject of debate. 
While some viewers might believe it to be genuine, others might suspect it to be staged or manipulated. Ultimately, the decision about its authenticity is open to interpretation, and it's left many questioning whether it represents a real encounter with the supernatural or a cleverly crafted piece of storytelling. Let us know what you think about the whole thing in the comments section. This spectacle, captured in a shot, reveals an intriguing moment in a lush green landscape with coiled and angled branches. At the center of attention is a white or gray-looking animal with its rear facing the trail camera. While it resembles a member of the cat family, identifying the exact species remains a mystery. It could potentially be a variety of creatures, including wild cats or even domestic cats, to determine the species accurately. Further details and clearer views of the animal's characteristics would have to be necessary. Nature often surprises us with its diversity, and this sighting adds to the intrigue of the natural world. If more information becomes available or if viewers have insights, it might help clarify the identity of this enigmatic creature. Until then, we can only guess and guess we will. Tell me what you believe you are seeing. I'd love to hear your thoughts. In this eerie video, an explorer ventures into an abandoned house, capturing moments in what appears to be an underground passageway. Armed with a source of light, he carefully examines the house only to have a ghostly apparition seemingly materialize behind him. The figure emerges seemingly out of nowhere, creating a chilling presence. The explorer's reaction suggests that he felt an unusual presence or contact, even though he initially saw nothing when he turned around. This mysterious figure reappears near a black door. It's only upon reviewing the camera footage that he becomes aware of what he captured when his focus is elsewhere. Experiences like this can be unsettling and often lead to questions about the existence of ghosts or spirits. Some might interpret such encounters as tricks of light and shadow, while others may find them compelling evidence of the supernatural. Belief in the paranormal varies among individuals, and experiences like these continue to spark debates and discussions about the unexplained. From your perspective, what explanation will you give to the whole thing? Tell us in the comments section, as we'd love to know. If you still haven't hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, could you do it now? Thank you very much. It means a lot to us and allows us to create more content like this. Moving on to the next clip. While driving through the woods, an unusual sight confronted this person. Two figures walking ahead of their car. At first glance, these figures appear to be ordinary humans. Two girls, to be precise. The driver's curiosity got the best of them, and they decided to park the car, intending to inquire about what these girls were doing in the woods at such an hour. However, when the girls turned to face the driver, something deeply unsettling unfolded. These beings, with their backs initially turned, appeared to lack facial features altogether. Their entire bodies emitted an eerie, otherworldly glow. It was as if they were luminous entities from beyond our realm. Startled by this inexplicable and unsettling encounter, the driver wasted no time in hastily departing from the scene, leaving behind a lingering question. Were these glowing beings aliens, spectral entities, or something else entirely? Tell us what you think in the comment section. During a visit to an animal park, a group of tourists came across a rather unusual sight involving a giraffe. At first glance, it appears as if this giraffe was attempting to challenge the lion's claim to the jungle throne, sporting what looked like a crown atop its head. However, upon closer inspection, a different, more concerning reality emerged. 
The tourists soon realized that this giraffe wasn't vying for royal status. Instead, it seemed to be suffering from some kind of growth or tumor on its head with a noticeable hole at its center. This peculiar condition could be the result of various factors, including a virus infection or even a birth defect. One can't help but feel empathy for this creature, hoping that it receives the care and attention it needs to recover or manage its condition. Does any one of you know what's happening? Please pray to tell. We'd love to know. This image was captured on a trail cam. Looks like it's our good old friend Bigfoot playing peekaboo with the camera. The creature in question seems to have dark fur and broad shoulders, giving it a rather imposing appearance. While it's tempting to speculate that this might be Bigfoot, it's essential to consider other possibilities. It's possible that this could be a large gorilla or another undiscovered animal. However, with more definitive evidence or additional context, it's challenging to draw any firm conclusions. What's your take on this enigmatic figure? Another intriguing discovery captured by a trail camera is this image of a humanoid dog-like creature. The creature is covered in pristine white fur from head to toe and seems to be emerging from the woods under the cover of night. It stands upright on its hind legs, resembling what some might describe as an albino dog man. While it's true that people occasionally wear costumes or use CGI for pranks and hoaxes, this particular image does appear quite authentic. The details and posture of the creature lend an air of authenticity to the photograph. What do you think, though? Is it real? Could this be another cryptid? Or is this simply a hoax? Tell us your take. In a remote vicinity somewhere in the woods, we notice different shades of green grass up onto the path where it breaks into an entire forest with many tall trees in broad daylight. Wonderful for a stroll. Initially, this video seems to capture the beauty of nature, but it takes an unexpected turn when we spot something in the woods. Something big, something large, and quite frankly, unusual. At first glance, one might be tempted to think we're dealing with a bear, but after a few seconds, it becomes evident that the creature is no bear. The creature has a large body frame and brown fur and appears to have its back to the recorder. While it might initially resemble an orangutan, orangutans are typically found in trees, and this creature's size seems much larger. It doesn't make a move and remains perfectly still, even while the uploader of the footage continues to record. You know I love my Bigfoots, and I'm tempted to think that this creature is yet another one. But if this is a Bigfoot, why is it out in the day? Does it not care about being seen? Or am I simply seeing a Bigfoot because, well, I love the creature so much. Perhaps I could use a second opinion. What do you see? What do you think is responsible for building such a thing like this in a remote part of the woods? To give you context, an explorer found this structure in a woodland area that doesn't see many visitors due to how far and remote it is. Imagine walking into something like this in an area not many humans have visited. What would go through your mind? Well, the one who recorded the footage didn't know what to make of it and decided to upload it online so people could share their thoughts. Many thought a Sasquatch built that and deserted the area when it noticed humans coming. Others believe it's a hunting blind. If you're familiar with hunting blinds, it's a structure or mechanism a hunter puts up in place to avoid being detected by wild animals. They don't exactly look like this, but this could pass for a makeshift one. But even for a makeshift one, this looks a tad too complex. Now, given these two options, which do you think we're dealing with here? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. As always, we'd like to start with an exciting one, but believe me when I tell you this next footage is as exciting as it is frightening. Did you catch what he saw before taking off? 
It looked like some sort of tiny creature with a small head and some beady eyes. It has an otherworldly appearance, almost like a pixie from the dark realms. As much as I'd love to have footage of one of those creatures, one thing's for sure, there is no Tinkerbell in that creature. That leaves us with a myriad of questions. What exactly is that creature? Why was it hiding in the tree? Are there many more of them? Do they have powers? And should we be wary of them? These and many more are questions we may never get answers to, but what thinkest thou? What do you think we're dealing with? Have you had an encounter with one of these creatures? Please share in the comments. We're eager to hear your thoughts. Still on the subject of large and ape-like humanoid creatures, take a look at this next footage. At first glance, the footage looks like it's documenting the lush greenery we see. After a second or two, you start to notice that whoever the cinematographer is, he seems to be focusing on just one area. In another second or two, you see it. There's a large, ape-like creature standing there. It's almost as though the creature is intelligently hiding behind the tree so it's not noticed. As earnest and sincere as its actions might be, it's clear that it needs to do better because we can certainly see it. But you have got to wonder, what humanoid creature is that? The skeptics might not like to hear it, but I really believe that's a Bigfoot. Before you call it a hoax and write it off, take a second look at it. You see it, don't you? If it wasn't a Bigfoot, why would it be hiding like that? How many creatures do you know with that level of intelligence? How many more do you know seemingly look like apes and walk like humans? Only one creature rings a bell, right? The Bigfoot. I've seen weird things, but this next capture weirded me out more than most. It's not something I'm proud to admit, but anyone who knows me knows strange dolls. Well, they scare me. And there are not many dolls weirder than what I'm about to show you. In fact, take a look. Did you see those dolls? Don't they look like the way the characters in Minecraft look? You can't unsee it now, can you? Imagine moving through the dark woods with the owls hooting and insects of the night giving off their eerie music. Your only source of light is the moon as you try to look beyond the trees in front of you. And then your gaze falls on these bizarre dolls. How would you react? Personally, I don't think I would handle it well, given the fact that I'm still recovering from Chucky, believe it or not. But you have to wonder, who set up these dolls and why? What's the story behind them? Is it just for fun, or is there something more sinister at play here? Share your thoughts, because I'd really love to hear them. Let's dive into another spine-tingling piece of footage that'll make those goosebumps dance. Here's the setup. A dog owner out for a nighttime stroll with his trusty white pit bull playing a game of catch. He throws a green ball, and that's when the strangeness kicks in. Watch closely. As the pit bull lunges for the ball, out of the blue, a smaller black dog just materializes from thin air right beneath the pit bull. It's like a scene out of a paranormal thriller. How could something like this even happen? Take a careful look at it again. Did you see that? Could the Chihuahua have been tied to the pit bull at the start? Well, if that were the case, we would have seen it, wouldn't we? So how else do we explain what we saw? Well, we can't, unless of course the footage is doctored, which I highly doubt. But what say you? If you found that piece of footage fascinating, then this next footage will have you shaken. Have a look.
This footage was captured in 2015 in an undisclosed location in Russia. The uploader of the footage refused to give further info to avoid being tracked. The footage initially seems like a typical forest exploration video, albeit with a tense atmosphere. The person behind the camera moves cautiously and fixates on a specific area. After a few seconds, we realize why. A creature suddenly comes out of hiding and starts moving away from the explorers. It initially walks in a gorilla-like knuckle walk, but swiftly switches to leaping and bounding to escape. It definitely didn't want to be seen by the explorers. Why? Maybe it's shy, but I don't think that's it. At first glance, it looks like a really large gorilla, but its subsequent movements take it out of the realm of an ordinary primate. It definitely has to be something more. Now, which creature do we know that looks like an ape, moves on two feet, and avoids humans at all costs? That's right, a Bigfoot. Do you think that's the creature we just saw, or are we seeing things that are not there? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Let's dive into another spine-tingling piece of footage that'll make those goosebumps dance. Here's the setup. A dog owner out for a nighttime stroll with his trusty white pit bull playing a game of catch. He throws a green ball, and that's when the strangeness kicks in. Watch closely. As the pit bull lunges for the ball, out of the blue, a smaller black dog just materializes from thin air right beneath the pit bull. It's like a scene out of a paranormal thriller. How could something like this even happen? Take a careful look at it again. Did you see that? Could the Chihuahua have been tied to the pit bull at the start? Well, if that were the case, we would have seen it, wouldn't we? So how else do we explain what we saw? Well, we can't, unless of course the footage is doctored, which I highly doubt. But what say you? The image you see on your screen was captured by a trail camera set up in Sydney, Australia. Now, we know Australia has some big things, but well, we didn't know primates and apes that looked like this were a part of their ecosystem. Any paranormal enthusiast who saw this will outrightly call it a Bigfoot, and it turns out that Australia has its own version of the Bigfoot called the Yowie. In case you're wondering how different this is from our usual Bigfoot, we did the research for you, and it turns out there are no real differences. They simply call it the Yowie, while the rest of us call it the Bigfoot. For our skeptics out there, if Bigfoot isn't real, how come he's been seen by individuals from different cultures in different regions? How come the descriptions from each of these cultures who may never have interacted with each other are the same? It has to be more than a coincidence, right? Think about it. Still on strange sightings, take a look at this next footage. The footage starts with a footballer celebrating what appears to be the win of the current game they're playing. It's a moment of sheer joy as he runs deeper into the field. But pay attention to his jersey. See that? The numbers change about three times. Let's slow it down for a detailed look. From 18 to what seems like 2J and finally 21. Strange, isn't it? But is there an explanation for it? Well, some who saw it believe the footage is doctored, whereas others believe we could actually be dealing with yet another glitch in the Matrix. But let's take a second look at the footage. Now, what are your personal opinions about it? Tell us in the comments section. We know many suggest Bigfoot is some prehistoric ape that never went extinct, but what if I told you our next trail camp footage contains something more ancient? 
Pay attention to the clip and tell me what you see. Do you think dinosaur or kangaroo? You know what? Watch it again. Did you see it? Now tell me, is that a kangaroo or does it look like a dinosaur? It definitely looks like a dinosaur, but how's that even possible? The truth is, well, we don't know. A trail cam enthusiast set up his trail camera in the remote part of the woods in a bid to capture some wildlife, and this is what he ended up capturing. He uploaded the footage online to try and get everyone's opinion, and all who saw it believed they were dealing with a dinosaur. Skeptics were quick to point out that dinosaurs had been extinct for millions of years, and this was most probably a small kangaroo. But do tell me, oh observant viewers of mine, does that look like a kangaroo to you? It most definitely doesn't. If we are dealing with a dinosaur, then you have to wonder where it came from and how many of these creatures are roaming the earth in the shadows. You know, we put up gates around our homes for a reason. Security. But it seems like even the most fortified gates can't keep the truly mysterious at bay. This time, it's a security camera that decided to spill the beans on something downright eerie. The footage starts in a quiet residential street where we are shown a perfectly good gate. Out of the blue, a shirtless man strolls into the scene. But here's the kicker. He doesn't do the usual thing like knocking or calling out for someone inside the house. No, he casually walks right through the gate like it's no more than a curtain fluttering in the breeze. Now, you might be wondering, how on earth is that even possible? Well, combining our knowledge in physics, biology, psychology, and chemistry, the answer is simple. We don't know. That leaves room for only one explanation. The paranormal. This controversial capture was sent to us by a subscriber who had seen it on one of the paranormal platforms. According to the subscriber, this has been a subject of much controversy and she wanted us to clear it up. What do you see? Do you see the forest alone or do you see a yeti staring at you with a look so sinister and serious it could chill your very soul? From afar, the capture looks like a set of trees or tree branches with snow on them. A second look and it looks like there's an actual face and body of a humanoid moving from the left to the right. You have to be paying attention or very observant to see the creature in question. Do you see it too, or are we simply imagining and seeing things that aren't there? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. For our next clip, we find ourselves amid an intriguing and atmospheric moment captured on camera in the enchanting landscapes of Scotland. The setting is adorned with the promise of a brewing storm as the dark clouds gather ready to unleash their elemental fury. Amidst this breathtaking display of nature's might, there's an unexpected coalesce, an enigmatic twist. As the ominous clouds, our attention is drawn to something truly captivating, a congregation of radiant orbs like celestial dancers circling the resplendent orange sun. This mesmerizing sight raises a series of questions that begs for answers. What could these luminous orbs signify? Are they envoys from distant galaxies, UFOs making their presence known, or perhaps is there a more terrestrial explanation, one that resides within the boundaries of our understanding? Some believe so. They believe it might be nothing more than flares from divers or some military aircraft. While that sounds logical, a second look at the footage and you'll realize that there's no way it could be any of these. So what then is this? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. If you made it this far and haven't hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, could you do that before we go on? 
Thank you very much. It means a lot. So moving back to today's episode. Are you familiar with shadow creatures? No? Watch this footage. Did you see the creature moving from the back to the vehicles packed near the camera? Did you see the form of the creature? Yes, it was fast, but the creature moved almost as though it was smoke without any real form. In fact, the one who uploaded it didn't notice it until he was going through the footage recorded by his camera. Perplexed by what he saw, he brought it to the online paranormal community for an explanation. Most of those who saw it didn't know what to make of it. Some thought it was a cryptid with strange powers and others assumed it might be aliens. But if you have done this as long as we have, you start to suspect it's a shadow creature. Not much is known about these creatures and perhaps we might have an entire episode dedicated to them in the future. But until then, my personal verdict about this creature is that it's a shadow creature. What do you also think? Do you share the same sentiment or do you believe there's more at play here that I am missing? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Have you ever wondered what a dead Bigfoot would look like? If you haven't, well, wonder no more. I have an image from the 1940s of one right here. I know the image is confusing and doesn't look like much, but believe me when I tell you, that's actually a dead Bigfoot. At least according to the one who took the picture in the 1940s. This image is supposed to be a picture of a Bigfoot lying on its back, dead. If you ask me, however, I would say it looks like it was lying on its face instead, but well, what do I know? And beyond that, the image was apparently taken in the 1940s. This should explain the black and white nature of the image and lack of detail. But what do you think? Does it look legit or does it sound like a fabricated tale to you? Let us know in the comments section. For our next clip, we find ourselves amid an intriguing and atmospheric moment captured on camera in the enchanting landscapes of Scotland. The setting is adorned with the promise of a brewing storm as the dark clouds gather ready to unleash their elemental fury. Amidst this breathtaking display of nature's might, there's an unexpected coalesce, an enigmatic twist. As the ominous clouds, our attention is drawn to something truly captivating, a congregation of radiant orbs like celestial dancers circling the resplendent orange sun. This mesmerizing sight raises a series of questions that begs for answers. What could these luminous orbs signify? Are they envoys from distant galaxies, UFOs making their presence known, or perhaps is there a more terrestrial explanation, one that resides within the boundaries of our understanding? Some believe so. They believe it might be nothing more than flares from divers or some military aircraft. While that sounds logical, a second look at the footage and you'll realize that there's no way it could be any of these. So what then is this? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. If you made it this far and haven't hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, could you do that before we go on? Thank you very much. It means a lot. So moving back to today's episode. Would you stand by and record if you ran into a strange entity, or would you take to your heels? Well, the individual who recorded our next footage thought it would be a good idea to stand, record, and pray. Did it end well? <laughs> Perhaps you should see for yourself. Did you see it? If you pay attention to the center of the footage, there's some sort of weird-looking creature there. At first glance, I assumed it was a skinwalker, and if you know anything about the Navajo culture, you'd agree. After all, it looked more like a skinwalker transforming.
After a few seconds in the footage, however, it starts to look like whatever that thing is starts floating. Yes, floating. Now, I won't pretend to be an expert on the Navajo culture, but I didn't know skinwalkers could float. After some seconds, the individual starts praying and binding the entity. He genuinely believed it would work, but turns out whatever he was doing wasn't enough, and once he realized it, he did what any smart human being would do. He ran away. Before you laugh or judge him harshly, know that his life was flashing before his eyes. What would you have done in such a situation? When I hear about the color green, the first thing that comes to mind are groves of trees, vegetation, algae, moss, etc. You name it all, and they will always come in different beautiful shades of green, be it naturally or artificially. When it comes to this next capture, it appears there's more happening in the footage than meets the eye. There appears to be a face in there blending perfectly with the rest of the foliage. Do you see it? You have to wonder what's the creature and why does it blend in so well with the green? Is it some sort of cryptid or are we dealing with something more sinister? It's hard to tell since none of us have ever had any experience with whatever creature it is. Is it some sort of cryptid or are we simply dealing with an otherworldly creature? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments section as we'd really love to hear them. Next, we have footage from the mysterious world of Just Ghouly Things, which is a YouTube channel dedicated to exploring all things paranormal. In this clip, they embarked on a spine-tingling adventure at the haunted Brookstown Inn in Winston-Salem. As they ventured down the inn's creaky old stairs, the unexpected happened. One of the two suddenly slipped and tumbled unceremoniously down the steps. While the fall may look ordinary, pay attention to what she says when asked if okay. Okay. Are you okay? I felt like something pushed me. Do, do, no. Are you serious? She states that something pushed her down. But what? Well, when you go poking your nose in an abandoned, creepy, and spooky place, you don't exactly hope to find Santa now, do you? Now, we all know that places don't earn the moniker haunted for no reason. It's like a big, flashing neon sign saying, prepare for some paranormal happenings. Either way, if what she says is true, then perhaps they encountered something paranormal. And if they did encounter something paranormal, then perhaps they should count themselves very lucky to have escaped with a mere push. Don't you think? Oh my okay. Are you okay? I felt like something pushed me. Do, do, no. And now for a little comic relief after a very long episode. Take a look at our final clip for the day. In the midst of all the mysterious and enigmatic trail camp captures we often come across, it's refreshing to stumble upon something that brings a smile to our faces. So here we have this deer, quite literally making the best of its moment in the spotlight. Just take a closer look at the picture and you'll see a majestic creature with its tongue playfully sticking out, striking a pose that's nothing short of adorable. It's almost as if this deer decided it was time to give the paparazzi, in this case, the trail camp, a taste of its modeling promise. You have to admit, he's beautiful, isn't he? And that concludes today's episode. Thank you for staying throughout. 